fellow tennis nerds, in this video we deal with Austrian powerhouse Dominic Thiem and his racket setup. 2019 was Dominic's best year on tour so far, he earned almost 8 million dollars in prize money, won 5 titles and had an impressive 49-19 win-loss record. He is currently number 4 in the world after winning a Masters title in Indian Wells, reaching the final at the French Open and the final of the ATP Tour Finals. It's clear that Dominic has gone from being a clay court specialist to a much more well-rounded player. He was always more confident on clay with his massive top spin on both wings, but it is impressive to see how he has managed to transfer that game to hard courts and he even won a grass court title in Stuttgart a few years ago. I think he will surely be a threat for any title next year. Dominic has played with a couple of different rackets over the years. As a junior he actually used a Wilson 6195 team which is a suitable name for him. It's a very control oriented racket, very low powered, a tight string pattern 1820. I would guess he might have customized it a little bit to get the stability up but I'm definitely Definitely not sure. After the Wilson he moved over to head and a head prestige MP which is another control oriented racket with a tight string pattern. Maybe he built up these big swings and massive swing speed by playing with low powered rackets. What is definitely sure is that he needs control because he has a lot of power inherently. He's always been a very physical player. He can go on for hours. He's always been working very hard on his fitness and that's truly paid off similar to, to Rafa. Still he, his game really seemed to move to another level when he changed to the bubble at pure strike in 2014. This was the red black first version of the bubble at pure strike, really a racket made for aggressive baseliners such as Team. Team used the 1820 version. When the new white pure strike was released in 2017, Team used the cosmetic of that version and was the main poster boy for the racket. Still, he was actually using the old mold just in a new paint. Now we are on the third generation of the Pure Strike and it looks as if Team has switched. You can look closely at the design of his new racket. He still uses the 1820 pattern, but the mold seems to have changed slightly. It's, it's very hard to know this for sure unless you've really seen this racket up close. I, I got the chance to actually have a look at this frame when I went to the Labor Cup earlier this year. It's clear that Team pays a lot of attention attention to his gear. Uh, during 2019 he was experimenting a lot with strings. When he switched to the Pure Strike in 2014 he was using RPM Blast, a very control oriented quite crisp string. Then he moved over to RPM Blast Rough a few years later for a bit more power and spin. In last year he started experimenting a bit with other brands. Uh, he tried a hybrid of Head Hawk and Head Experimental Tour when he won Indian Wells, which he, he stuck with this setup for a while. I'm pretty sure that Babalat is not very happy with him playing with a string from another brand but right now he's using RPM Power which is a new softer more powerful polyester string. It seems like the trend is that they're moving closer towards multi-filament strings but with better spin potential and durability. Let's have a look at the listed specs of Dominic Team. but no matter what gear Dominic Team uses he will be a dangerous player to face in 2020. His confidence is higher on all surfaces. He has a good team now with Nicolas Massou that has made him more aggressive and uh, more confident on other surfaces than clay. He seems to be in great physical shape. Question is how do you think he will do? Please comment below if you have any thoughts about this. Thanks for watching this Tennis Nerd video. Talking about the physical shape of Dominic Team, make sure you improve your own physical abilities by checking out the fitness courses from Martin Fitness Method. I can really recommend this program. I've tried two of their programs before and I'm currently testing the one for the years 40 plus. Really enjoying it, seeing some improvements in my movement, but for me the main purpose is to do this for injury prevention because there's nothing worse than not being able to play tennis. If you're not happy with your own racket or string, consider using our racket and string recommendation service. You'll find it in the Tennis Nerd shop at tennisnerd.net and you just pay, fill in the form and you will have a PDF file with your recommendations that will help you narrow down the, your choice of racket and string within a couple of days. Thanks again for watching Tennis Nerd, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. He's a clay court grinder, but captured his first Masters 1000 title this year on the hard courts of Indian Wells, California. From Austria, it's Dominic Thiem!